Oh, 151. Dog, you should be here. Ditch them kids. <laughs> Yeah, this should be uh, should be a good good night for this. It's actually kind of small. I'll show you the bracket real quick. Hopefully this is that. Oops, wrong one. Yeah, this actually needs updated. I'm pretty sure the tournament has started. Hey, there it is. So I'm actually in this one. And also apparently the new Smash Brothers patch dropped tonight. The new character Violet that everybody was uh, super excited about now available. All right, let's get into it. Whoops, I did not put in names. We got Zion and M. Okay, we're back in action. All right, so M8 rocking the uh, the 2B. Zion, Kilik as always. Yeah, I'm with you, Robin. Smash Brothers. Yeah. Not for public use. Oh, nice aerial combo. Okay. Zion getting a little bit of distance here. Oh, back against the wall. Oh, good change of position. All right, M8 waiting for something. Oh, not going to get to do it, though. Zion taking round one. Oh, got that big charge up. Putting that mate in the dirt. Pop up. Oh. Oh, oh. Zion kind of running things this round. Oh, MD's on his feet. Sorry, MD. <laughs> Getting them mixed up. Bop. Yo. We're doing the uh, the transform cancels out here. Sorry guys, I thought I had the uh, quality up better. Hey, it looks like I'm going to be joined by Ragnarok. Maybe help me commentate. M8 starting to take the uh, the advantage this round. Ragnarok, how you doing? My, it has. Find the crack of the floor, by the way. Plenty of them about. Zion, game one. Yeah. Are you not? Uh, are you not Shang Huang it today? I might tell it to be honest. Okay. Shang does feel a lot stronger though, after everything. Oh really? The season two crashes. Okay. I'd say that. I mean, heck, that's uh, who uh, Grandma's got game one. Uh, uh, Raj, Raj with. Were you able to make it out for that? Unfortunately, not. Ah. I was at work and just I just didn't feel like going. I just felt like kind of relaxing at home for a change. That's fair. I did go to Ohio Com though. Oh yeah? yeah. How was that? It was a lot of fun. There was actually a shit ton of 2B players. Oh, really? How? What was the audience like for Soul Calibur? Was it pretty big? I'd say, well, unfortunately, it was on a Friday. Oh. They should have. I feel like they should have put that on a weekend so that more people would be here. But there was, um, I want to say there was 20. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay, so we got a new round going. Zion, uh... Putting his game down. Oh, nice sidestep. Get those ground combos. Oh. Yeah. All right, we abandoned the unblockable. It's like M8's really uh, anxious to go uh, for the counter hit, like after blocking. He's really trying to press the advantage. Unfortunately, Zion strings are usually pretty oh, long and well thought out. I know, Magic Pixel. Uh-uh. Ooh, caught the toes. Mm. 
Oh, Scion's Ooh. starting big. Yo! Was that a new move? Oh, no. Oh, that, that was a sword. Yeah, the transform cancel. Going to a Russian stance mix-up. Oh. Oh, what was that? A grab or like a guard impact attempt? That was a grab. That was a grab? All right. Okay, that was the guard impact. There we go. Oh, hello. Is it just a straight turnaround? Yes. Damn, all right. Well, sure you can into the uh, Fiora Spear Throw here. Bam, Zion with that round, pretty solid. Yeah, especially with Season 2, you feel like it encourages you to go into a Soul Charge. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Get, wow! Short round, short round. <laughs> BBB all the way. <laughs> all the way to the wall. All right, we're up. Oh, oh wow. Oh, turn. Oh, oh, oh! I honestly could not have told you if that was going to hit or not beforehand. <laughs> like, I saw Zion going over and she was still faced the wrong way. <laughs> Thanks for damage. Sizable yeah. chunk of damage. Oh, oh nice interrupt. Counter. Oh no. All right, good defense. Again. No. Yeah, it's not gonna. And no real punish by Zion either. Oof. Ooh. That's gonna do it. Two zero for Zion. So Zion's going to move on to the next uh, spot in the bracket where he will fight Suna. And it uh, looks like it'll be time for my match with what's King Tub. <laughs> so let's see here. All right, apparently I didn't click the box hard enough. There we go. Why does no one else use yeah. Astaroth? Uh, <laughs> that is a good question, actually. I mean, does he have like, does he have good punishes? Does he have good openers into his bigger moves? His ring out, let's just say his ring out game is, and his wall game are much more enhanced. Um, he has a B A or B slide A type move where he does his regular B, but then. You can control the A if it goes up or down. Astaroth is my side hoe. Right. Well, guys, um, Aster and Casuals. There we go. I've seen your Sophie Revent. She uh, fails you often. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man! Wow. <laughs> All right. So uh, I can't really. Yeah, judge yeah, I, I know, right? I can't judge because I haven't seen your Myers so with the sick buttons. Okay. Uh, can, oh. can you run the uh, scoreboard and stuff? While... <laughs> At least she hasn't failed like your hairline. Ow. Huh? She hasn't. Fa My hairline hasn't failed. It's the hair behind the, ha the hairline that's failed. <laughs> the hair behind the hair behind the hairline behind the hair. <laughs> who knows if, if yeah, who even knows if Revan's balled into that rat's nest of his? Alright, looks like I got. Okay, cool. Alright, so I'm gonna leave you guys in the hands of uh, Abbott and uh, Ragnarok as I go to play my game and do very badly. Hello. Excellent. How are you? It's been way too long. It has. It has been a little too long. Um, but uh, welcome back to locals. Good to see you. I apologize that I can't join you, but my arm is really acting up. You know how it is. It's hard to be alive. Mm. Well, I mean. 
I've just I've just been so busy with work and just sometimes I just feel like relaxing at home and plus Columbus is just such a drive. Oh yeah. Well you're you're out in Cincinnati, right? Uh Dayton, but Brookville, which is like northwest west of Dayton. Sure. sure. It, which is like right up against I seventy, so it's or yeah, I seventy is just a straight way to the yeah. But locals is just I mean, coming out to Columbus is a pretty challenging drive for you, isn't it? I felt but you know what? I just I felt like going. I, I just went home. I changed clothes. I got something to eat, and I just drove straight here. Well, thank you so much for coming out. We really appreciate having you. Thanks. Yeah. I was hoping that uh, uh, the SK Sin would also be here tonight, but I don't think she is. In the um, but that's all right, you know. Uh, we got uh, right now. We got Matchstick versus Team Tub coming out here. Um, Matchstick looking like he's going to play Cassandra uh, versus Sophie. Might have, a, uh, might have a bit of a. Oh no, I'm sorry. King Tub is picking Cassandra. Oh hello. I think uh, I think Matchstick is going to play Cassandra. Oh yeah, Mirror. Yes. Yes, it's Mirror. Looks like they may have accidentally gone back to the main menu. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Be like that sometimes. Something that messes me up a lot is oh. that my other main fighting game is Undernight Inbirth. And I Unib. have yeah. yeah, Unib, yeah. And I have the Japanese version of that game on which always confirm. So transitioning not just from Uni Unis to other fighting games, but transitioning from Unis to other people's English copies of Eunice screws me up a lot. I have to remember which button is confirm and which button is go back. What do you, why do you think that is? Could it be sound cues from uh, characters? Or, you mean why it would be O to confirm? Like, trans, like uh, going from the Japanese to the English. Really oh, what time it changes? Uh, there, the there aren't um, there aren't any like gameplay changes. It's just which it's just like literally how I how I navigate the menus. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. It, I end up I end up like, exiting out a lot and going back in and exiting like just or deselecting my character. All right, I I think they are uh, I think they are they are back into it here. Um, I don't suppose you know the button that gets us into the, uh, um, window. Window. And no, it doesn't look like it. Mm. Uh, oh boy. Well, it, uh, it'd be like this sometimes. Uh, hold on. Alright, we might just have to watch it like this, uh, for the time being. And then, uh, after the match, we will kindly ask Patrick to instruct us on how to do it. Excuse my tap sound, but we can, we can uh, commentate this tiny match here. Matchstick, uh, setting up a, uh, a good little bit of offense here. Trying to sidestep around Cassandra's excellent horizontal button. Uh, King oh. Tub. Oh! Oh, King Tub looking for Oh, no. <laughs> uh, we don't, we, we don't know how, we don't know how to do it. Uh, how, what, uh, what, uh, oh, help, thank you, Naya. Oh, the button is over there. Okay, great, we did it. Alright, thank you, stream. Excellent. For everyone watching the boss, we're very sorry about that. Ooh, twin angel stack. Mm. Nice sidestep around Connor's lane. One B. B again. That move is such an excellent move. Ooh, but, uh, so, or, uh, excuse me. Uh, King Tub locking down. No, around for the Yeah, there we go. King Tub's playing Cassandra. And Master is on a set point here, I believe. Oh! Oh, a big sidestep, and Master goes up 1 0. The battle is over. Show respect for the fight you fought so good. Just a good little kicking pokes there from uh, from Matchstick to lock down King Tub there in neutral. Oh, King Tub not finding a lot of opportunities to press buttons. See if he can adapt it all in the next thing here. So Fiji and Cassandra with comparable button speeds and uh, comparable sort of like ranges that they operate in. We've got uh, the assist from Zion, the TO here, helping us navigate the uh, the stream setup here. I can I'm feel him behind. Me. Shout out to <laughs> shout out to Zion for running our locals and taking care of us. Much appreciated. King Tub, not sure who to play here. Moving around the character select screen a lot. 
Yeah. Oh my god, he got a zero. We have a, we have a, a Smash Ultimate oh, setup two B? right next to us here, and they are uh, they're having a grand old time. 2B, okay. I'm definitely not the only one. Blood Moon Zero in the chat suggesting a lot more BK and AA from Cass. I think that's a good idea. Uh, AA in particular, a nice 10 frame move to lock down people's like random step options. So and we'll BK, see. good on block, and you could bait with 2B plus K. Yep. Yep. All kinds of things that you can do once you establish those two buttons, I think. Well, we'll see if, uh, if King Tub's never going to have the opportunity. Because he is, uh, he is switched off to 2B here. Another excellent character, somebody that you, Rock and Rock, have a lot of experience playing. There are a lot of 2Bs um, at Ohio Pride, um this year. So what do you think that is? Um, there were a few good, decent ones, but I think it was mainly because it's an anime convention and, oh, it's 2D. Yeah, sure. Oh, just, nice, uh, excellent sidestep there. Right, right, right. Russian stance. See what he can do with it. Not a lot. Gets uh, one hit and resets. Oh, laser. Oh, my oh. gosh. The tech crouch under the laser. Yeah, that's stuff. Uh, Matchstick uh, hit Four, King eight, Tub eight. out of the attempted step there on the screen. Russian? Nope. nope. 6B. Right out. That's it. Taking advantage of some good, fast folks with the uh, 15 tub in his place to try and do aggression. Front throw. Nice. Whiff. Aerial B. Oh, that was odd. Okay, I'm talking about a really, really hard time challenging matchsticks, just random folks here. The thing that I would like to see King Tub start doing is blocking those just like random fast pokes and then answering back to some fast pokes. Oh, that aggression B is a very linear move. Yeah, why do you think he's uh, going for that so often? Hmm. Not entirely sure. The thing with aggression B is you can go press B B for that, or you can press B A for massive damage. Big leaping uh, there. Four A. Under what conditions does that move leaping? When you have two full meters. Ah, okay. Thank you. And the best you can possibly do from it is a critical edge, but the damage scales down considerably. Sure, okay. It could also do a wall splat or a ring out to paint on what side you're on. But it's a little bit of extra reward. It's more niche though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, soul charge. Sword throw, nope. One beat. See what he does with it. It has an old, big uh, aggression stance soul charge stuff coming out here from King Tuck. Oh, 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 Whoa, nice block from oh. Matchstick, but it doesn't block the follow-up or step it. Gotta watch that aerial stance. That's a, that's a, mass, that's a massive way to whip punch someone. Oh, okay. Aerial laser, laser nope. Not quite the right time. Okay, Matchstick with an opportunity here. He spends it on a couple BBs that don't quite reach. But King Tub doesn't answer them very well, and Matchstick continues to have the honors. Go counter. King Tub one hit away from losing the set. Uh, scratch that. Now is it. And Matchstick takes a 2 0 over King Tub. The battle is over. Show respect for the good stuff. Okay. Alright, so uh, Matchstick advances and winners. We'll see King Tub again in the loser's bracket here coming up. Alright, so if King Tub had had another match to play 2B, how would you have liked to see him adapt? That aggression from B, all, it's best to use that up close. I would say, I would say space him out like go back aggression, do all sorts of sword throws, like sure. her 2A where she literally throws her large sword. Mm -hmm. Possibly go angler for more ranged options to pressure him into 
coming close with some of her close range moves. Yeah, we didn't we didn't really see any of that, did we? Unfortunately. Well, um, King Tub will have another chance in the loser's bracket here if he uh, so chooses to continue to play that character. Right now, we got Suna coming up versus Zion. Yes. Uh, you you won. One, 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 or, one or either. One or either. <laughs> um, I'll tell you what. I am not in the tournament, so um, maybe uh, I can keep sitting here. Oh, would that be cool, Ragnarok? Right sure, sure. All right, great. All right, let me slide in there then. All right, it's, good. it's all yours. Thank you, thank you. Yes. Hey, you too, man. Take care. Yep, see you around. Okay. So we got Suna, Zion, excellent. Round two. Thank you very much. So Suna, um, a, uh, a strong player in this game of several characters. Um, yes. When I play against Suna, he plays uh, Nightmare, Hilda, and occasionally Yoshi Mitsu. Zion, though, a, uh, a single character main, um, only plays Keyleth, has some problems with the character, but uh, does does pretty well. Uh, and, uh, what was my guy's name? King King Tub? King Tub. King Tub. 2BB. Yep, as, as such. Okay. Or 2115. Okay. Matching to do a little bit of bookkeeping here. We, we very much appreciate... Easier all to the, do it on the fly. <laughs> all the work that Matchstick does to take care of our locals here. By the by, if uh, you go to Matchstick Melee's channel on YouTube, you can see all of the recorded VODs from our sets and timestamps in the description yep. for every single match. So in full 1080p. So if there is a particular match that you want to review, it is so easy to go to Matchstick Melee's channel, take a look. If there's a character or a player you want to study, Matchstick Melee is the guy for you. So go support his channel. Subscribe on, on Twitch or on YouTube if you uh, if you feel like it. And uh, if you ever come out to locals and he's got the tip jar out for a couple bucks, is man. Aren't you nice? Yeah, well, you got to do promos. <laughs> All right, true. So, so uh, going with the, the nightmare here, he's been a little bit dissatisfied with nightmare lately, but I think he uh, I think he likes the character enough just as a base that he's willing to continue to play. Yeah, it. I think he's had it rough since the since the last patch. Yeah, he was pretty disappointed with what nightmare got in Soul Calibur season two, but right now. Um, making, making good use of Nightmare's like general offensive tools. Catches Zion out of step there, gets the terror charge, we'll see what he does with this. Doesn't punish Zion getting off the ground with that big pole ball. And that's the end of the going on 1 0. Now. Yeah, well, can't be disappointed with that. No, can't be too sad about that at all. This is a big stage. I wonder how that influences uh, round start interactions with these two characters. Because they, neither character particularly long range, but both with some big sweeping attacks that oh do yeah. reach that extra distance. Well, you know, the, the, the big thing about that is the, the style of weapon is uh, Nightmare is going to be fighting with the entire length of his weapon, whereas Keely, for the most part, is going to be keeping two hands on it, which limits the, the maximum range that he can actually strike you from. Very true. Keely, a deceptively short range character. Mm -hmm. Despite his long yep. range weapon. That's sort of, it used to be the Ooh. case that oh. he and Sung Mina played very similarly. Right. They differentiated them in that way, I think, as of Soul Calibur 3. Very much so. So, Zion just uh, doing some really nice, safe pokes there. We saw mm -hmm. 4A, we saw BB. Um, stuff just Oops. sort of designed to have low reward, but to catch Suna out of any random buttons he might press. Amazing block there from Suna on that move. Oh, yeah. And blocks the low, too. Understands uh -oh. that that move is stocked on lethal hit. Suna loves that, that night stance there. He does. <laughs> the one behind the head. Pretty great use of it. Oh, this might oh, kill. Yes. It will. And off he goes. So Enjoy his friend. Following Suna oh. into the water to make sure his buddy gets back on stage mm -hmm. for the next round. Exactly. That teamwork. <laughs> teamwork makes the dream work here at uh, Columbus Tuesday Night Locals. Right. Oh, nice GI. Nice Get the GI. lethal. Clean air juggle. Oh, not a lot of damage, but converts it into soul charge. Yep. Zion on the record is not particularly liking playing soul charge, but this is a good opportunity to do it when he's got a lot of life to burn and a lot of offensive opportunities to make. Yeah. Oh, but Ooh. that is going to be it. Suna hitting yep. the uh, random terror charge and knocking Zion right off the stage to take game one. Yep. So we will now uh, 
uh, see whether these gentlemen want to uh, stick to their guns or swap to a new character. Yep. By the way, uh, 151, what, what do you mean, wait, matchstick winning? I thought he was a Sophie. I am a Sophie main, and that was me winning. Thank you very much. Yeah, uh, it our, doesn't happen too our, often. Our apologies. I promised matchstick that I knew how to do this, and I think I knew substantially less than I thought I did. Matchstick, <laughs> a very patient, uh, a very patient streamer. We all love him very much. Oh, were our names swapped on the thing? Yeah, they were okay, swapped. Okay, that we, makes we, sense. We corrected that error. Okay, eventually. Okay. Help. Help. <laughs> <laughs> I would actually love to pick up uh, Cassandra. Just um, Cassandra is a great character. Yeah, really? I hear she's actually uh, lower tier than Sophie right now, though. Uh, if that, you ask I, the, the right people. I well, if you ask the right people, but if you ask the right right people, they oh. would say Cass is probably a top five character. She's a she's a messed up character. I really I really think she's got some. I know she came in strong. Strengths. She came in strong and she actually got stronger this patch. Oh. They gave her a ten frame AA which she previously oh. did not have. An anti air? She's, uh no. I know. Uh, AA, yeah, I, uh, I know. Uh, 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 horizontal you. horizontal. All right, matchstick. All right. <laughs> well, in the meantime, Zion with a near perfect on Suna getting some nice momentum yeah. converting it into a match. Yeah, maybe maybe the download has begun. Around winning. Ooh, nice GI. Nice GI on the. I don't remember which one that's. Is called. It's not Monument. Wow. It's the two one. That was that was some lucky timing on Suna's part, punching uh, Zion right out of the. Uh... An excellent choice of RE to answer that stance. Yes. Once Suna is there, he's locked in. He can sidestep out of it, I think, uh, or that Ooh. might be a Siegfried only mechanic. All right. Oh. Sidesteps the uh, soul attack and gets a nice punish on Zion. Zion now losing health constantly, but with some strong offensive tools. Spends it on the oh. super. Oh! Suna correctly crouches. Yo! Nice escape! Tries to catch the escape with ground stab. Uh, There's that 6-6-B. Six, 6-6-B, six, six six, yes, for sure. 1-1 one, one now. Suna with some nice patience on Zion's random buttons there. Whoa. Still not answering a wake-up pole vault very well, but we'll see how he adapts in the coming uh, game here. That's a hard hurt box to track, yep. like, quite honestly. It is. So that low we've seen Suna get Zion with a couple of times mm. is a uh, pretty good chip low, Ooh. but it is launch punishable on block. Yeah. So Suna is going to have to be careful to see if Zion starts blocking low, and then uh, mix in some stance mids to answer that. I like, wow, Suna nails him with the unblockable hoops. And that is the round of Suna. Suna on set point here. Yep. Alright, we got some good jockeying for position. Oh, yeah. Big AGA there from Suna. AGA, a really strong spacing and uh, lockdown tool for Nightmare. Really essential to that character because he does not have a lot of safe mm -hmm. horizontals that uh, can choke step. Um, but AGA is, is his best one by yeah. far. Look at all these break attacks Suna just throwing out. Baiting yeah. the dash and ooh, GI exchange, but Zion with a lethal hit. Another nice aerial juggle. Off the ground, yeah, I actually get the soul attack that time. Ooh. Trying to make a situation. <laughs> Oh, okay, so that's oh. the unblockable. All right, Goes setting up the reversal edge. The RE, we'll see what he does with it. Yep. Catches him with the A. Both of them just glowing nice. with evil Side power. Step and oh. a big punish for Zion. This should be the round. He's got the meter to burn. Spend that cash. Zion one round away from making it to 1-1. One, one. Help, God helps those who help themselves, Zion. <laughs> running in there. 6-6-B from Suna. 6-6-B with just a little bit of armor on it, so it catches out random small pokes. Oh. Alright, we've stopped blocking now. It's all a damage race. <laughs> yes. So Suna did not go for the tech trap there. Chooses to go for a different setup. See what he does here. Wow. GI. Zion with the excellent uh, GI selection hey, against throw. Suna's mid. Those are in this game. I forgot. <laughs> Throws are certainly in this game. Yeah, throws uh, work a little bit differently in this game than in most games. They are, they're a straight 50-50 all the time. Mm -hmm. That differentiates them from Tekken, where you can react to the start of game. Exactly. So, Suna with a good offense oh, here. Oh! Pick up off the wall, but Zion makes it 1-1. One, one. <laughs> and we'll see if Suna keeps to Nightmare or chooses to switch characters. His, his, his request for help was answered. Excellent adaptation from Zion, who didn't need that help after all. Yeah. yeah. 
And I think they just oh, matched. He, he got it. All, all seven people in chat like held up their hands and gave them the, gave excited. their energy. Very excited. So there's click, chosen click to stay on the stage. I think that's a pretty acceptable choice. I I don't see the stage as giving an advantage to either character. Both no, of not these characters really. are people who want to be in close, so they're going to be running in anyway, irrespective mm -hmm. of the large size of the stage, and they're probably yeah. happy not being rung out very often. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Like especially if they play lengthwise, and they've got so much room to play with. Yep. Ooh, oh, not quite close enough for the pickup. There is gonna Ooh. not have terror charge. Oh, Zion nice mixed poke at the Zion feet. Another strange one. Strange options out of Monument. We love to see that. Bro, keep doing it till it stops working. Nice mm -hmm. slow kick, finishing out the round. Zion stepping that, but not getting the step crouch, which would answer that. And would allow Zion to uh, big whiffs to start. Finds the launch. Uh. Anyway, big damage there from Zion. Wow, nice wow. grab from so the that, back. That, not a whole lot of damage coming that out of that. Grab one. there only works on crouching characters. So uh, Suno read that Zion wanted to crouch there that's and went impressive. for that grab. Yeah, good stuff there for Suno. Yo, we just we just mashing uh, mashing A and B today, aren't we, Zion? <laughs> hey, if, it, if it works, it works. Oh, that's gonna be huge damage from Suna. Yeah, that that uh, starter gets you oh, half yeah. life. I mean. Say what you want about Nightmare. Once he starts going, <laughs> Nightmare does a lot of damage. Man. Gets right. a knockdown here. Oh wow! Goes for the safe man, trying to blow something up or just take a little frame advantage. Zion eat shoulder charge. Zion with a big hill to climb here. Two rounds down, big and swings. a lot of health needs to finish this out quickly. Ooh, Can't that do is it. Gonna do Suna it. takes a two-one over Zion. Zion kept it close there in the second game, but Suna made some nice adaptations and 3 0 Zion. Last yep. game. Good stuff. That's what happened. Really All right. Like that sometimes, doesn't it? I imagine it's going to be my match next, so uh, it'll be me and Ragnarok. Sounds good. Um, I am. Uh, I'm going to commentate that, and then I have to get out of here. So. Fair. That sounds good. All right, Ragnarok with the. All right, hopefully I can get Zion to come over here and uh, chat with you while that goes on. Hey Zion, would you like to join me on commentary? Actually, Suna, get on commentary. Yeah, hell yeah. All right, as long as I'll be I'll be right over there. I I I've learned enough. Okay. I can probably switch us between matches and update scores. Okay, so when we get going, yes. can you just observe this time and then type it in between the brackets for me and then... Um, this time down yep, here? the recording time. Wonderful, yeah. yes I will. Thank, thank you, thank you. Yes. Alright guys, I'm off to my next adventure. Oh, wish me luck. We are going to have Matchstick versus Ragnarok coming up here. And on commentary we have my very good friend Suna. Suna, how are you? I'm doing alright. Yeah. I got to do some Nightmare stuff there, so that was fun. You did. I'm sorry? Uh, yes, uh, I will do that. Boom. Pushing that data. It's almost push, like I'm running a stream. <laughs> it approaches running oh, a stream. There is a hole in the stage. Oh, my chair like fell. Suna <laughs> uh, almost just, uh, you know, heckin' died here. Almost, 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 yeah. almost. Almost got rung out. <laughs> good stuff there in the third game. Thank you. Good, uh, good adaptations. Good pressure. Zion, though, um, I think a more competent killer than he gives himself credit for. I do think so. Yes. I, know he, I know he doesn't like think he can play the game competitively all that well, but maybe that's better, like, you know, like, if he's just looking at, okay, you know, how well can you do, have some fun, you know, not stressing too much over, oh, did I win or lose, you know. The thing I like about watching Zion play is he has a very good sense of just establishing a neutral game with BBs and AAs and small pokes, and that's something that I think less experienced Soul Calibur players will not default to. They won't default mm. to establishing, like, just a poking-based game before they start doing all their fancy stuff. Right. Zion, though, a storied 3D player and an active Soul Calibur 2 player as well, mm -hmm. so he has a he has a good sense, even if he doesn't have, like, all the sick stuff, how just to play so And not to go on it, he plays a good character for that, right? Like, some yes. characters you can't really establish a poke game, like Astaroth, right. Nightmare, it's kind of it, characters with the slow buttons, but, you know, a character like Killick, who does have a fast number. Well, these two characters here got yes. a Cassandra, uh, Sophia, sorry, going up against Amy. Yes. Amy, kind of the uh, uh, names are actually backwards now. Oh, my goodness, yes. <laughs> uh, Matchstick misled us, uh, such as life. There we go. There we go. We got it right. 
but um, Amy kind of like at least at the start like considered one of the terrors of like the season two just yes. with all of her changes making it kind of easier to get to Purple Rose especially Sophia No Sludge herself and a character who I think is very equipped to fight Amy where both of these characters want to be in kind of close have a bunch of like fast tricky pokes right and Matchstick making good use of just like backing up looking for an opportunity to, to that move that move is just runs. so good 6-6-8 six, six, but uh uh, Ragnarok getting a gonna go through nice sidestep around that string though, but oh goes for the, the big DP basically. I almost thought that could be <laughs> Picks up a white rose. I haven't been keeping track. How many is Ragnarok at right I now? I think it's one red, one white. One red, one white. All right. Well, he's got uh, several rounds here to get that up and uh, making really good use of all these fast pokes here to mix up matching. Yeah, good. Uh, I'm not sure if that, uh, that was probably a combo off that throw, right? Because that, so. that throw did not do a lot of damage. No. So I figured something was probably guaranteed off it to kind of make up for its low base damage. Yes. We right. see Ragnarok throwing out just some random roses here at range, trying to punish Matchstick for backing up and just trying to pick his spots. It can also kind of give an advantage just because they hit late like that, so you're not expecting the block stun. I don't know if she's actually at advantage. Wow, that, that was all a combo. That was awesome. Oh, tried to get the sidestep punish, but unfortunately the string kind of moving Ragnarok away. Ragnarok I think he's at uh, two red, two white now. Two red. Uh, three, three red. Pretty close to Red Rose Perception here, which gives him additional offensive tools. But uh, not currently needing it. Ragnarok with a dominant second round here. Match oh, that's kind of the thing blocks. with Amy. You know, the roses are great, but really she's pretty solid on her own. Ragnarok is a great player. Is that a new move? I haven't seen that uh, delayed uh, I think it right. might be. All right, this should... Uh, oh, no, now that's three each, I think, now. Pretty close. Really up. going for the purple rose. <laughs> yeah. The uh, most will he just Will thing? he just... Uh, throw around just so he can do purple rose <laughs> uh, probably you know, not i uh i don't consider it ragnarok the kind of player yeah. right yeah exactly uh, yeah. Uh, yeah there's red, red rose, rose perception. perception while punish is a super from matchstick matchstick looking for any way to get out of here but so video one, one of the fun. only characters i think with a 12 frame super right uh is it that fast i uh, i know sean plazas maybe it's 14 frames it's, it's i think it's fast 14 because because uh uh, Mitsurugi had the 12 frame, right? Yes, you're right, you're right. I'm so I think they might have been 14. They were very fast and easy to combo into. But still not invincible on in startup, as you can see. They kind of basically have to get the super flash for any of them to be invincible. Yes, but oh, once got the back turn get flip. the super flash, it's over. Coming back to this stage, I think that's probably a fine decision. Both of these characters are short-range characters, and neither has lost to a ring out yet. They probably feel very comfortable yeah. being over. And this is the bigger of the, like, wall of the stage, right? Uh, I think, I think it's I think bigger. It's, uh, I think Desert was the smallest, and this one was slightly bigger. Or did, was it the opposite? I can't remember. I know they at one point made one of them bigger. It was Desert that they enlarged. Yeah, but so. I so I think it's still the smallest. Okay, interesting. Well, uh, neither player particularly close to a ring out here. Ragnarok deleting Matchstick's health bar before he has the opportunity. Nice, uh, nice whip punish there. Got Matchstick the counter hit. pushing into the corner though. Ragnarok's seen this all before. It's going to be really tough to open him up. Oh, gets the ring that. out there. Well, uh, yeah. just as I say that, not Ragnarok the second caught, of the string. caught expecting a low. There's a low of his own, nice. and then gets the first. I think first, maybe second red rose. Oh, that back turn back flip is such it, a nasty so tool for Amy. Oh, there's the red rose perception. So I was off. Yeah, I was off too. Yeah, any of the characters that have those good back turn moves are such a pain to deal with. Aren't you they? Expect, oh, I sidestepped around. I've got an idea, but they're so fast. There's the purple rose. It's a perfect two, and so now all of Amy's stance stances that auto GI are now resist impacts. So you can't actually break attack them. And we have all of these long combos from the Red Rose and White Rose Perceptions here. <laughs> at, le at least the stances do still follow. You have to do the correct high, mid, or low, though. <laughs> yes, correct. All right, big, good block, yeah. Big damage here from Amy. Yeah, gets that follow-up with the Red Rose on that. One more the White Rose does... Oh, he tried to parry because he wanted to get the resist impact on that one, I'm pretty sure. Oh, <laughs> trying to style just a little bit. Very oh, comfortable yeah. doing it. A big... The, big, the, the Lightning Bolt, the new new Soul Charge moves of Sofitia whiffing. And Ragnarok just getting a nice whiff punish on it. Yep. So I can't remember exactly what White Rose does, because you didn't really see it before. Um, it adds some additional moves. Uh, I because I thought it was like the defensive one or something. It, yeah, but I think it. Oh, it um it also unlocks uh, her faster version of her super. Mm, that's right. Yes, yeah. a white rose one. Does, that does less damage though, right? Yes, unless it does. you're in purple Correct. rose. Because yes. purple rose, it's fast and more damage. Purple rose compensates for that. 
Crazy character. And now it's easier to do all that. Again, they gave her, I think they, they gave her more ways to combo into white rose. She could always eat, pretty easily get red rose before. But they really went pretty ham on giving her nice, uh, nice ways to combo into white rose. Yes, very so much. So it made it a bit easier, especially getting those. I kind of like that they did that with quite a few characters, kind of that that stacking buff over, over various, you know, combos. Yeah, I think it's cool. They've really enriched the differences between the characters here. This is going to be uh, Matchstick versus M8. All right, perfect. Um, folks, I'm going to hop off. Thank you so much for having me. Um, Thank I you for, am, uh, for joining us. Yeah, absolutely. Until um, you, like, pop back through the roof to challenge the Grand Finals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm the final <laughs> challenger. I have to defend Columbus. All right, take care, folks. Yes. Well, it's not my throne. SK Sin beat me last week. I was about to say, is that Omari? This is this is almost cat. Yeah, it's it's it, it just reminded me of the aesthetic of Old Boy. I don't need to play that. Later. Oh yeah, no, so this is not from a video game, but it is video game adjacent. Okay, gotcha. All right, Doctor Boy. I thought he was Sophie. <laughs> Okay, so. It's over. I'm trying to find the timer to make sure I get it. Oh, where's the timer? Yeah, it says recording. It's live. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, are you um, time stamping? Yeah, uh, I'm actually like to take the time stamps of it. Gotcha. So they're just players just uh, selecting their characters right now. I got the timer there. Can so M had a or M master. Okay. Excellent. We're a little more tech savvy now. A little bit. Yo, All right. Man. So we got a uh, matchstick, of course, sticking with Sophia, and then M8, one of several two Bs today that we've seen today. Reverse ledge. Yeah, there's that big change, not uh, being able to block the reverse ledges. Sidesteps oh. around, but not the longest range uh, sidestep hunter. So two B's uh, forward moving strings, just kind of getting uh, getting out of the way of that. There's another DP. I think a matchstick might need to go for more just um, sidestep and like then the the three three B, which is just I think her regular launcher, or it's that move basically. <laughs> So you can sidestep around and then get that still an eight-way run. I think that might have a better chance of getting a possible, a little bit more significant punish on it. Oh, flash. Russian, nope. Interruption. For AB. Going through. Didn't follow through with any moves out of the um, aggression. aggression. Oh, wait. Nope, also with. Oh, nice sidestep back, yeah. And just kind of bullying with the normals there, just A A A A. All the all the A's should, are minus, but then you got a fast move coming right after it, so you still get it. Yeah. Sophie, in terms of speed, has an advantage with two B. Yeah, well, uh, two B does have like twelve frame moves, though, right? Um. Well, she has her ten frame A A. Okay, it is ten. Oh, I didn't know it was ten frames. Of course. <laughs> You also have to take into account how unsafe 2B is, and all Sophie has to do is Corsicle 4B. Mm, yeah. Like that um, 2B's um, 3AA right there. So that's one for Matchstick. I was about to say, I can type. Oh, sure, go ahead. Oh, it's also on caps lock. Okay, don't worry. <laughs> There we go. Yeah. I think it's M8, I think. Oh, man. Yes. Okay. Okay. All right, so Matt Sick uh, did take the first uh, first game. Do we get 
get a random stage or yep we went back like to random, random stage. stage and it's the uh walden uh daytime stage hilda's stage very nice stage i find myself training a lot on this stage besides the great labyrinth it is a fun stage to look at it's nice and bright easy to see Pretty, pretty confined. I think it is it is exactly the same stage as the, the nighttime one, right? Same size and everything. There is a little variance to it. Oh, I didn't actually know. As you look in the background, there's more of a lake underneath the... Lake. Oh, I meant, I meant in terms of its actual like gameplay, so size-wise oh, and everything. <laughs> gameplay versus aesthetics. Yeah, aesthetic-wise I understand, but you know, like, they kind of have the theme stages where like, okay, they have... Like before, they had the two walled-in stages, but one was really big and the other was small. Right. And they kind of varied around like that for those. This one, I think, is the same size. Oh. And it gets the A to beat the K version. Oh, Went for a throw, but yep. Yeah. Oh, it doesn't... Stay ducking and block the low, but didn't know the full string was uh, going to end in a mid. and Unfortunately, got finished off through it. Good punish. Yep. Jumps over, switches the camera, too. Good thing you can't actually cross up in this game because there's a block button. Okay, built some AP. Oh, I've punished no one. Just a bit, uh, a bit unfamiliar with Lapidia's moves, it looks like. Not kind of aware of, oh, this is the time to whip punish. Good throw tech. There's a whip punish, but didn't quite finish it. Oh, throw. Right. Mm. Getting, getting, a, yeah, getting the few uh, few stray hits, but yeah, like I said, kind of not optimal with really capitalizing on it. But does take the uh, take the round there with a nice two B. <laughs> see if Magic can respond here. Nice whip punish, but again, kind of a little bit unoptimal. Like, All right, Matchstick gets the uh, kind of get the mid strings and then yep, critical edge. Critical edge. He's had enough. And but to he's take Matchstick right to the Guts area. And M8 with a uh, with one as well. Oh, that oh. could have been a big combo. And Matchstick with the... Uh, I think... Um, for Tassel, yeah, forward. I think... Uh, yeah, Angel's Step A. I know she's got Angel Step, Twin Angel Step. <laughs> All right, yep, just goes there for the consecutive go. lows. Nice throw tech again. Maybe got a read, maybe always going for forward throws. I think that ends up being like the kind of base one when you're trying to throw someone is you end up forward throwing a lot. Yeah. All right, good B. Oh, oh, throws out of the critical edge. Ooh. Oh, oh, got a oh my. Gun press. I, 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 actually, yeah, I Looks like they're going to keep going. The Tio's over there. He hasn't said anything. Go with the flow. It's a 6K. 6K B? Whoa. Yeah, it finished. Probably just wanted to finish the string there. Oh, it goes for the six break six attack, eight. but yeah. Seven out. And Matchstick maybe can try to play a little more just pokey at heavy and conservatively with some buttons. Nope, goes right for the DP again. Flip kicks. Oh, that's the strings. Flames? 4B, that's an excellent move for Sophie. Just kind of kicking through. Oh, that's stepping around. There's a low, B. yep. I'm gonna go for it again. Oops, tries to back away. I made is trying to play safe. Oh, Yo, gets that's with a whip punish, yes. Very nice. Saw his opportunity. This is exactly, exactly what you want to do when you have that, right? You're, you've got the life lead. You know they're going to be coming in swinging. How fast is her uh, critical edge? I want to say... Like the generic one, like... I want to say 17? 16, 16, I think, is the generic one. 16, speed. yeah. I think it's 16, and then there are a couple 14s. There used to be a 12, but not anymore. Uh, Shangwa and Mitsu are 14s. Yeah, I, but Mitsu's used to be 12. Yes. Um, so Mary and I were talking earlier. We think Sophidia might also have a 16 frame? Or Another, a 14 frame. So a tad faster. Alright, uh, now I'm actually just go, going in with the uh, Angel Ooh. Step mix-ups. 
blocks the critical edge. Oh, right into aggression. Yeah. Oh. See, that stick. Got to try and close this out. Good throw tech again, and then gets the 6-6-A. Such a great move. Yeah, that one was kind of all just match stick. Uh, you know, really playing the uh, the crouch dash mix up. Oh, 2B. Use 2B. I right, guess the launch. Does not go for the, uh, the optimal combo there, but good enough. Oh, got caught by the mid again. Yeah, he's just uh, unfamiliar with the way these strings kind of flow into each other. And then goes for the triple stab. Not a combo after, after the second one, but uh, yeah, kind of, I'm a little unaware of how those strings work. All right, good hit out of the uh, aggression. B. Some more gets the sword. Oh, class. Oh, good trade. To aggression? Oh. Yeah, more aggression B. Oh, goes for the uh, big long stab there. Plus B, Spears program. Right, goes oh. through, does block at this time. Oh, he sidesteps it, but not quite a punish on that one. Looks like he just caught a uh, MA trying to press another button. I think uh, Ragnarok or Matchstick <laughs> probably going to be more, more conscious Am of... Am I causing uh, PTSD? Oh, there Ooh. it goes. Wow. Uh, uh. Yeah, he gets his own critical edge. Takes the revenge for Purifying all the ones he got hit by before. Bam. Oh, she looks so scared. <laughs> just, just, just zoom in into that and just... Yeah, that takes care of it. Yep. Let's stick uh, taking that one. So I think uh, it would probably be another losers match. Yeah. Match for Zion and King Tub. Yeah. King Tub. Yep. Uh, King Tub. Let's see if he's around. I know he was in Catherine as well tonight. Fun game, by the way. Catherine. Yeah, I've never actually played Catherine. Same company as Persona. Yeah. SMG. I know they had a lot of. Um, uh, yeah, I think Persona 5 had all of the like Catherine costumes and stuff, right? Mm -hmm. It wasn't the other, and I think maybe the other way too with the full body or something. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah, Lots of fun along I'll with I'll go ahead and um, change the I, uh, slide in there or somebody. Oh. Um, oh, did like to you sit down at your yeah. oh. right, oh, no. What am I doing? Yeah, yeah that's right. Thank you. Oh, man. That was fun. That was a good match. You got your revenge for all those critical edges you got hit by? <laughs> Finish it. Oh, well, I noticed you were being a lot more cautious in that second one. Like, you kind of realizing, I've got a, you know. Well, yeah, I've got I've, I've got a, a natural fear of 2B because she's just a, a wall of flipping blades. Oh, it was a loser's match, and so is this one. You're a winner in my book. Oh, thanks, man. Hey, two and one is a pretty good uh, record so far. Anyway, we got Zion and uh, King Tub. King Tub, yes. So now we're gonna get Killick. Yep. And I forget who King Tub was playing earlier. Uh, uh, I know. Was, was it a two B again? At one point he picked two B. No, that 2B. was an eight. Yeah, that was that was me. Uh, well, I think I think King Tub also picked two B. Because you uh, you played King Tub, I think. I, and I think he picked two B against you. Yeah, well. yeah, yeah. That was his, his his initial character was Cassandra. That was it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It yeah. started as the sisters fight, and then switched two B. But he's exactly. going with two B here. It looks like. Again, two Bs all day. We'll see what uh, what Ragnarok takes against me. Oh, this is losers round one, actually. Okay. Uh, for some reason, Ragnarok is not advanced in the bracket. But oh, it might be old data. Maybe. Okay. It says you won. It just didn't put you forward in the bracket. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, let's uh, see what Zion brings to the 2B battle. Similar stage to where you were just playing. Yep. We were actually saying, I think uh, it's a pretty much night, my, no, night mode. Yep. 
This was the original, though. The other one's a pretend. Oh, the, the daylight is the fake. Yeah, that one, the daylight one came out when uh, Hilda came out. What, what, a, what a Kingdom Hearts line. <laughs> but they are, um, I believe, the same size. It would well, make they're sense. basically exactly the same stage, all wall, same size. Honestly, I never got the, uh, I never got that aura of, uh, of, of like aerial death during my fight with. with oh, uh, the kind of. Uh, oh no, sorry, that was King Tub. Stuff. Yeah, but uh, Mate never did it. Ooh, King Tub coming out swinging. Uh, going into uh, into the Fisher stance, which has that kind of that tracking move around TV mm -hmm. and and a couple of other like kind of crazy moves she can do. No one using the uh, the laser beam or the uh, the long distance throw. Uh, the command throws. Yeah, yeah, those come out of a, out of the aggression shift, out of that stance. Gotcha. Well, no, like the the one where she can like, yeah, like fish you. And fish oh yeah, yeah, that one out of the Fisher stance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think that's Fisher stance K. Whoop. And I think you can actually pick distances. On nice. Boop boop. All right, yeah, good knockdown. Oh. Goes for the soul attack to get into soul charge, and then. Now, remind me what the mechanic is for, for doing that. Uh, for soul attack? Yeah. So that's the new mechanic. It is quarter circle mm -hmm. forward, A plus B plus K. Oh, okay. And it's essentially a cancel. Like It, it, would uh, be it like, is not. You can't no? like cancel into it, but it is basically an attack way to get into soul charge. Gotcha. Well, King yeah. Tub with another round. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, so it's Helix, not, it's uh, soul not... charge does drain his health, so even though Zion was pretty much on the offensive the whole time, yeah. he was losing health slowly until he had none left. Exactly. Double-edged sword, that particular yeah. soul charge. Helix soul charge is very good. It's got some great moves in it. But, mm -hmm. but yeah, you've got to kind of watch out for that. He do, he can cancel out of Ooh. it and get a nice whiff punish. Gets the lethal hit. Full cinematic. And, oh, oh whiffs on the wow. soul attack, though. It's a bit unfortunate, so he doesn't get the setup he was looking for. Yeah, there's a lot more stuff away. whiffing in this new patch than I than I feel there was before. Uh, I guess the chem... Oh, I think it, that must oh. be a soul charge from the area. Yep, and it turns around, gets the nice confirm. Suffer his bloodlust. <laughs> This Urkiora spear. Way more, way more damage than necessary. <laughs> my man's, hey, you're my man's going for extra credit. <laughs> Hopefully this counts towards the next test. Yeah. There's a few things. So um, they also introduced the new um, uh, guard impact, the uh, the resist impact right. that takes meter. Mm -hmm. When Kilix and Soul Charge, you can just do that all the time because nice. it doesn't take his meter. <laughs> Does that increase his, like, the, the damage lost over time or anything? Uh, no, it doesn't do that, but um, most of the time it takes meter, but... Gotcha. Because he his, his, his meter anyway. will, will drain. Ooh. Oh no. But a soul charge back instead of a kind of bigger whiff punish, but I suppose this is going for the long haul. Go to the aggression. Speaking of. Oh, tries oh. for the kick. And, yeah, nice. Oh, wow. Comes over. Straight up catch in the backhand for the, uh, for the pertinence. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so Zion uh, tying up the rounds here. Yep. So I did notice that that string is steppable. Uh, I found that out real early on when I was fighting uh, King Tub. As it seems kind of central to his attack pattern, I was able to get around and get him stuck in it way more often than usual. Yeah, goes for the... Oh, again, okay, oh. nice hit. No, I guess that doesn't wall stick. No. Goes for the ABs and then the up laser. He wanted that lethal hit. Zion Good flashing hit. yellow. Yeah. Oh, okay, gets, the oh, laser was probably not a great idea close up. Yeah, but uh, Zion's first hit out of that out of that sidestep was a high, so to be yeah. ducked under it. Okay, gets oh. the 6-6-B. Six, six Good duck under the throw, but no punish. Whip. He's kind of trying to poke through. Oh, gets stuck the critical edge and critical takes edge. the game. Yes. Very nice. I think that was just a 6-A. <laughs> Zion. Fuck you, fuck you in the head. Zion squeegeeing the sweat away from his face. That was a pretty big comeback. I was. He went, down, he went down those two. Yeah. He, uh... I swear to God, I, I'm going to call him King Butt at some point. It's, <laughs> it's raging dyslexia in my brain. But, yeah. Uh, King Tub. King, King Tub. Tub had a strong start. Yeah, sticks in the same spot, too. Yep. And nothing wrong with it. You no. can't, get, uh, can't get wrung out. Some oh. characters do some ridiculous wall damage, though, it's so true. you do have to watch out for that. I think as Silmarion once said, if you don't have a character that takes great advantage of a wall, it's probably better to go for a, the opportunity to ring them out yourself. Oh, yeah, there's some wall stick. Tries to go for that uh, oh, oh. follow-up to it, but unfortunately it didn't work. Yeah, Zion just keyed into all these vertical motions. And, oh, wow. I think he might have jumped. Uh, he <laughs> might have. Is that jump glitch still in there? Uh, no, that was uh, patched that out. That was patched out? Good. Unless uh, whatever system we're playing on hasn't been patched. Yeah, which I mean, I'm pretty this should sure be, it's been patched. Yeah, I've got Hildy in. 
Oh, uh, well, it was after Hilda came out, even. Yeah, they, oh, they did I mean, um, kind of a. It should be a semi balanced patch, bug fix patch. Yeah. Ooh, kicks out of the oh. third hit of that string. Oh! But then gets hit by the low. Watch them toes, sir. Uh, those spinning lows always look like they're going to be a mid sometimes. Yeah, they're some very deceptive moves. Into Ooh, these gets the monument, gets the GI. Oh, wow, wow. Big lethal wow, wow, combo, wow, but doesn't wow. quite finish it. But no. then another GI and gets the other lethal hit. Jeez. Win. That is uh, a lethal hit on a successful GI like that. Gets the. Yeah. yeah. Gets the soul yeah, attack the soul there. Charge. Yep. And then goes for the. Oh, Ooh. that is unfortunate. Big whiffs. And now King Tub has an opportunity uh, to. Ooh. Characters Die. must te must technically be in crouching state when falling when that low on the wall. So unfortunately, that one whipped on it. Yeah. I thought it was just low enough to go under the hitbox. All right. King Tub nice back and forth here. match here. Okay, That's gets the mid low. Just not safe mid mid. Keep going. Oh. Yep, mid low again. Not a combo. Nope. Right, Those dashes are not working out for King Tub. No, I think Zion's getting a lot of counter hits through it. Okay, yeah. just goes to the. Uh, uh, oh! Uh, yeah. Didn't quite get it before uh, before 2B had hit the ground and was able to block. Might have just been going for a spike in that situation to awesome. kind of get another guaranteed hit. There's that toe spike. Everyone loves it. Everyone loves it! Alright, good block on the oh. aggression and then just gets the kick. Goes for the fat, probably want to kill it, definitely want to kill his fastest moves. Zion probably with 12 the tins. frames. <laughs> yep. Yeah, where's the, where's the modern day's uh, uh, Soul Calibur costume pack? Uh, there's some modern costumes. I don't know if it has Tim's. Uh, yeah. <laughs> just get Killick some Tim's. Hashtag get Killick some Tim's. I don't know. I think uh, I think if anyone was going to be wearing Tim's, it'd be Astron. Just going to stomp it on. Fans. Probably. Yeah, <laughs> you're not wrong. Ooh, Whoa! good. Get to, oh, that was the sidestep out of uh, the, uh, the uh, reversal edge. But unfortunately, it didn't actually quite punish, but... Mm -hmm. All right, yeah. Guaranteed follow-up. Not taking damage is a good second place. Oh, okay, not going to happen. Yeah. Oh, oh, no! Whoa, really? He tried to GI it. I, I think he did, I yeah. don't think you can... You can GI a lot of this critical edges, but I don't think you can after the Super Flash. Oh, oh goes for the, yeah. that was working out so well for a second. And then he just had to stand right, up. For the soul Good attack. block. Yep, block nah, this time. Gonna, nah, yeah. at that time. Oh, yeah, right. block at that time. <laughs> Didn't, didn't be like, all right, I'm going to be cool this time. So Zion with the, uh, the clean 2-0 victory over King Tub, who I successfully did not call King Butt. <laughs> uh, which means we can move on into Losers Round 2 or head over to Winners uh, Semifinals. Let's see what the, uh, the old T.O. wants to do. And it's not, uh, should not be Winners oh, no, Semifinals. Win 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 that's win right. Win I always forget that. I guess the way, the way it puts it is it's the semifinals. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. Yeah, challenge is just dumb. They could easily fix this and just make it Winners Final, but they won't. Just like final winners, final, and just like draw the map different. Mm. But what ifs? So he, he's updating he his own day, so it might be you and Ragnarok. Okay. Oh. You and Matt? Well, unless we were running the winners. Okay. Well, thank you, Suna, for coming and commentating. Uh, good luck in your match. Of course, good luck to Ragnarok. You know what? You're both great. I hope you both win. I hope, I hope it's double knockouts all the way through. And Zion's going to come talk. Oh, God. It's all right. You've done it before. I've heard you. It's, it's not Smash Brothers <laughs> at Game Arena. You can, you can actually be heard here. They can hear me across the state over there at Game Arena. Don't worry about that. <laughs> so we are in winner's final. Yep. We got Mr. Five, by the way. Got Mr. Sunam. And uh, Ragnarok. Ragnarok blowing me the F up and, uh, and on the winner's <laughs> side of the bagot. I mean, I got that one round though. That's where you start building it from. You know, they say it's kind of expected. His Amy and. To be or both ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah, I I I, I whiffed. Ever. Oh, a Hildy. Yeah. Uh, 
Funa's been playing a bit of Hild. Good. And we'll be seeing a Talon out of Ragnarok, so it sounds like we were talking about this earlier, but uh, yeah, I guess Talon is Ragnarok's new, like, this means war character. Huh. I mean, uh, I mean, I could see it. Uh, Grandma's got game, one Raj with her. Yeah, and uh, Ragnarok is prone to switching around to a bunch of characters. Oh, so. sure. I mean, so you can only win so much with one character yeah. before you go, so... So, yes, the stakes aren't extremely high, so I'm sure he's trying to just work stuff out and play a bunch of people. <laughs> Until Try before you ask, experience. the prize is not stakes. It's, uh, six dollars. A whopping six dollars. <laughs> All right, we're going to be spacing each other out. Yep. Goes in the stance. Uh, so, yeah, I know nothing about Hild how Hildy functions in six. So she still has her hold button. So essentially, whenever you hit buttons, you're charging like taps almost. Like, oh, with ball geez. Rocks. So when she's holding a button, like a vertical, she cannot hit that button again. Gotcha. So there's a lot of gameplay Yo. where you have to. Yeah, but she gets enhanced moves off of her hold buttons. So it's all about maintaining like neutral while trying to like bait out the people to press their buttons or like sure. guessing what buttons they don't have. And then so I'm, like, I'm guessing the, uh, the the LED glow on the weapons is the indicator that they are charged. Not well, not that they're charged, but they well, there is a charge mode, but it's not like she's holding the button so it starts glowing. It's when she successfully does some of like her enders and stuff with ah. the charge moves that she gets like better stuff. So she kind of like snowballs with her health buttons. It's a reward of RGB. <laughs> so it's just like She's got the Logitech spear on deck. Yep. Uh, Turns it on when she's feeling herself. I get it. Yeah. But yeah, Ooh. there's a bunch of just playing around. Like, if you know a Hilda's holding a, uh, a horizontal, you can just start stepping everywhere because she's just going to be throwing out verticals and stuff like that. Right, right. Oh, nice stick. <laughs> okay. Yeah. That looked a bit awkward. Oh, it's, yeah. All the pressure from Talon is getting all of that guard break damage. Ooh, Ooh. good pressure from Suna by as a uh, return. Ooh, the oh. lethal hit slides to the DMs. That's going to be a critical edge. I can't believe that this this whole critical Ugh. edge can start from any of those three opening Ugh. hits. Yep, and she can cancel it. It's just thanks. I hate it. Yeah. Yeah. Tons of damage. She's, Thanks, Mom. She's it's just what I never wanted. She's basically the Paul of this game with stances. Nobody asked for this. <laughs> oh, nice. Nothing wrong with any of that. Hilled, hilled upon breaking her armor, turns into a Hot Topic employee. <laughs> Have you read Edgar Allan Poe? Oh, shit. Yeah. Ooh, big damage. Nice. What's Yo. The Yo. Uh, tries to catch yeah. a quick rise. Uh, there's so much guard break damage off of those strings. It's ridiculous. It is. Oh, I'm trying to get the Ragnarok's not flashing at all. So, oh, soul attack, but there's a second follow-up. All right. This one's pretty, pretty critical moment right now. Although the longer Suna is less engaged in combat. Whoa! Yeah, Suna wanted to wait for his, uh, since he has the advantage, he wanted to wait for his Soul Charge to run out. Since uh, Soul Charge pauses the uh, meter, right. or pauses the timer, but it doesn't matter because Talon just hits you and you die. Yep. <laughs> so, game one going to Ragnarok there. You can see right. the pondering happening. She does an ungodly amount of damage. Yeah, I think I think Talon's biggest strength is her safety on offense. Like she can just keep going and going and going and going. I mean, it's how much pressure she gets to put out and forcing you into a guard break, and then when she guard breaks you, she takes forty to fifty percent of your health bar for getting guard broken. Yeah. It's wild. <laughs> it's, it's deadly in its simplicity. <laughs> but here comes a Yoshimitsu. Yeah, he wants more pressure. He doesn't want, like, he's trading in the neutral for uh, just being able to do a lot of... Uh, a lot of goofy stuff. Yeah, a lot of 3B mix-up, stuff like that, off of the uh, meter burn. Oh, he's going to get hit with a 3B, speaking of which. Oh, nice splits. Yeah, all the mix. The AA gets whiffed. Uh, also, her ability to shuck, jive, and evade are also yeah. very high. Okay, he's going to take his turn back. Doesn't get anything off of the knee. Oh, guard break. I even guard chip damage so far. Oh. Oh, my gosh. oh got the grab. Oh. No 
no whip punish off Ooh. of that. Because he goes into reversal edge. Also has a capable reversal edge. Yeah. Why? I don't know. Ukubo, please explain. That's a death fist. No, it's literally just this called version death of Talon is just a, it's a huge apology letter for not having her in five. They can take her back. <laughs> she could have been old lady Talon in five. Everyone else was, was kids. Oh, so you mean a regular adult? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, uh, uh. All right. Yeah, get the meter for it. Uh, Might not get the chance to use it. Oh, here we go. Pop up. Uh. Ooh. Oh. In the dirt. Honestly, I thought Suna got that, but never mind. Oh, that was right. almost. Yeah. That was almost really bad. That, yeah, that probably could have been a way bigger punish. Why is everyone dead? Oh. oh. Gets the launch. Yep. Oh, didn't make it to the pogo. Ooh, nice grab. That's a lot of damage. Oh, there Put we go. Put some flex tape on that. Uh, yeah, I got caught yep. tracking. Oh, yeah. Ragnarok being a little cautious right now. Yeah, he tried to use his soul attack, got counter hit out of it. That's going to be big damage. Oop. Another homing move. Oh, yeah, he got caught. Oh, yeah, he did. Give me a soul. Ugh, slice and dice. Mmm, nano machines. <laughs> he just needs one hit. Yeah, he blocked that, but yeah, it's gonna be a cancel. Uh, imagine getting punished for doing wake up CE. <laughs> nice, Bazooka Knee. Soon on the board. Just needs another two to keep this whole thing alive. All right. Good trade, Ragnarok. Trying to come in big, capitalize, get that guard crush. Yeah, he's in big danger right now. He's going to take so much damage. Uh, yeah, here it is. Uh, yo -y. Yo! Why? Why? Why do you get the animation like the OPG? Why? Off of, that's off of a guard break. Yeah. I don't... Uh, Thank you, scaling senpai. Toskate. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Yeah, Suna, Suna feeling a little rough right now. Oh, I, don't, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't blame him either. Yeah. I'd be feeling some type of way if I lost a quarter of my health due to blocking. <laughs> to using a game mechanic? Yeah. I think, I think everyone could benefit from way more like guard health. I mean, the only suggestion I've considered which would make this mechanic actually, like, usable is nobody forces, or nobody, like, prioritizes just guarding in this game. I feel like you should get a little bit of guard, guard meter back if you just guard. The only thing you get for it in this game is that if somebody does a break attack and you just guard it, you don't take the uh, damage from it. Oh, I, I'm not sure if that's for all attacks, if not, but, like, I feel like it would give people a reason to, like, try and practice strings and, like, just guard them. There's no real reason to do it anymore. Right, right. Because right. it used to be in oh, 5, yeah. you actually got, like, frame advantage, or you could reduce, like, people's advantage on block by just guarding. Gotcha. It was almost like flawless block in MK in 5. Like, that's just me. I'm not good at this game, so <laughs> my suggestion should be taken with a grain of salt. Ooh! Ooh! Uh, it doesn't get a big follow-up off of it, but the Got pressure the will paper. take that gladly. Uh, uh, break attack. Oh, uh, got caught stepping with the run yeah. counter. Goes in the stance. Ooh, the oh. RE to knock him out the air. No fly zone. Ooh, but a good 3B. So if I can't fly, you should then. Oh, nice. Oh, no follow-up. I think. Oh, no. Okay. Double trouble. What's the guess? Ooh, nice horizontal. Oh, you now, couldn't get anything off of it, though. Now Ragnarok's in danger of getting guard broken. Ooh, big After throw. this. All right. One more chance. Ooh! Oh, my the double KO. Throw. That was hype. Yeah, can we get a clip, please? <laughs> oh, I got it. Mmm, that thing. Those are all nice. nice. Good EX. Yeah, he had to burn the meter. He, he would have been unsafe on the otherwise. Oh, the back throw. Good break. Oh, we're up again. Oh, just couldn't capitalize. Oh, the GI was oh. mixed. Okay. Hello? Yep. Oh. 
The mix up game, he would have launched there. He could have got the ring out easy. Okay, Ryan Rockfield, danger again. Okay, going for the. That's her soul attack? Excuse yeah. me? <laughs> Why does she turn into Rashid? I oh, Kubo, like, explain. I'm summoning a storm. Oh. Ragnarok Why says, is this not character so twice. privileged? <laughs> she literally turned into a shade. Yeah. That. I know, bro. I know, I know. Goodness gracious. Anyway, uh, you and me have to play. So yep. In a sec. Lose I'll be over there too. Yep. <laughs> So we're going to let uh, Suna and Ragnarok come in and take over the controls while uh, Zion and I have our match. That was, that was, that was very rough work, gentlemen. Mm -hmm. Alright, so that's me and, yep. Oh, I can just summon a tornado. It's fine. <laughs> It's totally, totally fair and balanced. <laughs> oh, man. All right. <sighs> yeah, that soul tag's pretty cool. Mm. I know Yoshimitsu gets some, like, weird restand resets off of his. Like, back turn resets and stuff like that. And then he's in Super Dragonfly in Soul Shark, so he can drop a few. Oh my god. I tried to Soul Attack a few times, it didn't come out. Ugh. It's like, Max, we must have wind. <laughs> Now we're gonna go to some. Oh, but uh, you know, type in that's the all time stamps. Yeah. I'll do it. Well, we are going to get now get a uh, Killik and Sophitia. I don't think either of these players play another character in this game. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, Keelik and Sophie. 17, wait, what? Oh, that one. Oh, I was looking at the live one, I'm sorry. I'm still not tech-savvy tech enough. Evil Sophie. Oh, here we go. And he's been picking Evil Sophie. I got they gave some of the alternate colors that variety. You know, yeah. Sophie, uh, Eye patch Mitsurugi. Mm. Would be nice if you could customize straight from the 3P and 4P. Oh, parts. yeah, that would be true. Oh, Ooh, nice. right into that. Uh, but uh, I think yeah, that's the second time I've seen him drop that combo. Uh, I guess it uh, gets a wild standing punish there. Oh, back turn B. That's K. Run K. <laughs> oh, goes for the mix up this time. <laughs> That's a classic. Run at them for oh. a bit and they're gonna crouch. Alright, Zion making it do pretty well, but he was down to half health, so it's not like Matchstick didn't get his own his own licks in. <laughs> I just noticed bear and balance. <laughs> Alright, knock down, goes from the low. Oh, gets Ooh, counter. Hit, yeah. Probably oh. trying to caught sidestepping. Alright, going for just the S. Oh, goes for the low this time. You already died? I looked away for five seconds. Go back again. Swinging in. Right, yep. Just gonna try to kind of step Ooh, back. Ooh, nice. Follow Gets through. the uh, follow through. Yep. Oh, get use the uh, oh, the wake up option. Remember when that was glitched and like the characters that could do like things off the ground could like super really quickly off the ground. Oh god, this, that's, that was disgusting. <laughs> uh, gets the lethal again, but that drops. It's really good at getting that lethal again. Um, I know that's on, you know, obviously GIs. Ooh. Good step around, gets the uh, 3B whiff punish. Soul attack. Soul attack. Yep, yeah, can't step that. Oh. Get up, Sophie. Oh, I'm 6-6-B. Oh, tech crouch. Oh, yeah. 
Oh, oh that's big. Yeah, that's it. And you can't even blame Soul Charge for that damage. Yeah, good match to take one back. Ooh, nice wave punish, yeah. To a just rain. Alright, goes the soul, soul attack, attack again. Next going early into it. Gets the uh nice guard impact. Knockdown. I haven't seen him do the other uh, like wave move that uh, Keila has in Soul Charge. Mm. Sure a Ooh, into a wall spot kill. Caught out of the uh, critical edge as well. Ah, he's had enough. Oh. Ha, your bones are too brittle. <laughs> Oh, no. a angry, angry killer. Oh god. He's on his period. I found him into it. Alright, just straight Double back into the same stage. Knocked down. Goes for the back turn there. Just running, running K again. Oh. If he had run a little bit close to the wall, might have gotten a ring out. Ooh, it should okay. be. Uh, oh. Can you get a ring out from here? Oh, it doesn't Unfortunately look like it. not. Ooh, ooh, yeah, gets the duck and turn around. I fall, fell to the same thing. You oh, try and get like a back throw because it's like, ooh, there's the back. I felt the anxiety there. Oh my god. <laughs> New move. Yep. That's a pretty good one. He needed something like that. Ooh, just. My favorite thing about that move is how it like flashes the soul charge state right Alright, good. good. Leave the combo. There, there we go. The thing, yeah. No knockdown on that combo, but it's really good damage. Right, oh, no, nope. not quite. Too low. Alright, Mastic not out of this one. Oh, gets the too low early. hit too. Oh, yeah. And that's dead. Ah. Yeah. Caught the gap in between it. Duck the first hit, catch the gap before the second hit comes out. And Mastic down to his last uh, round here. Whoa! Oh, he gets the back. Feel like turn. wrong yeah. way. Oof. Again. All right, getting Four the, uh, A mix ups. Yep. Uh oh. There's another. And then stabs. One BBB. Ah. Okay, just going for kind of the, the can strings right now. That works. Yeah, good BB. Oh, goes under right as the uh, oh. break attack was about to come out. And I stick with a nice round to come back here. With a double angel step there. All right, 6B pops over. Mm, no back turn that time. A nice side step. Good GI and get the Yeah. Too early. Kind of moves. Ooh, just go straight to the uh, critical edge here. Now again, good thing, at least Killick doesn't take damage while he's being hit from being in Soul Charge. He does have to be standing at neutral, and then he will take damage. Oh, he ducked. But that was enough for it. Mastic like, right, got yes. two straight rounds, but now he's um, out of meter and gave Zion the, the second one there. Through, pretty close to the edge, just kind of twinkling around. Whoa. Well, this could be dangerous. One B. Two stab. Four A. Oh, really nice. So oh, beautiful. Ooh, I Jump did not K. know that. Yes. <laughs> That's so sick. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I didn't even know he could ring out with that. <laughs> oh, I've been forgetting to update the scores. I am a terrible stream runner. It was two of I. I forgot that big score. Okay. <laughs> That's done. Is done. That jump K though. Uh, I still don't know why they made that kick <laughs> so odd. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> like he said, bear and balanced. <laughs> that is the quote of tonight. Oh man, I actually had some some good opportunities on the last one to actually end it too, and my fingers were just being too stupid. You were doing the frames properly with Sofitia though. Yeah, I was actually connecting a lot more of the um, the quarter circle, the quarter circle B like follow-ups than I really even intended to. So, uh, oh, this is actually losers finals. Yep, Suna and Zion. So this will be a uh, three out of five for these two gentlemen. I 
So, more than likely, uh, Killick Nightmare run back. Aha! We got the major protagonist and antagonist on it. I miss when Sophia was the protagonist. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Like in, in original Soul Calibur where she was lightweight broken. <laughs> oh my god. Like where she did extra damage to Nightmare. Based on his frame? No, just her her weapon. Like like it was it was lore and they turned it into actual oh. game mechanic. Oh my so god. So she just did more damage to Nightmare than anyone else. I actually did not know that. Yep. I already liked her and then I found that out. I was like, main. <laughs> Disgusting. He's like, Nightmare, I hate that guy. <laughs> of course, extra damage to Nightmare. Oh, Ooh, speaking of Nightmare, Suna's definitely being one to, to Zion right now. Alright, we got the trips. Oh, oh no low that's grab. A, that's only a low. Nice GI. Oh, with the pressure to the corner. I mean, the edge, I mean. Oh. Yep. What a reversal of fortunes there. Ah, yes. Now Nightmare has gone full Animu. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, tech crouch there. Swap. Nice. Good swap. Oh, back the back throw. Beautiful. <laughs> and splat. Oh. Hmm. Tech trap right yep. there. Yep. All right, what's the wake up? Oh, very nice. Yeah, Soul Calibur 7 is just going to be a 2D J fighter. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> this is the direction they've been going. That's what we're going to see. <laughs> I'm up for 7, but let's not yet. We still got... We, they just announced, announced Haomaru. It's and true. We, and we still got two characters left. Ooh. GI yeah, right into Yeah, baby. Bloodlust. Light him up. Very nice, very nice. Ooh, got the advantage. Zion. Pulling the head. Very nice. Ooh. The nightmare out here about to summon Meteor and destroy the whole planet. <laughs> Sidestep eight. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice side. So, look at these good break attacks he's throwing out there. Yep. Nightmare, of course. Massive guard damage on his offense. Just frame. Oof. Yep. Burden strike. Nope. Ooh. Zion dancing on the edge back there. Uh oh. Back throw. Oh. Oh. And again, no good Soul answer attack. for the, uh, the get up pogo. Ooh! Ooh. Oh. Well then. <laughs> Yowch. All right, so Suna with the Headless Horseman routine. Tying things up. Five rounds of game, Morty. Five rounds. Back from K Whoa. <laughs> that jump K is just so derpy. It is. Just oh. right. Ooh. Just a little airborne. It's still good. It's still good. Right. Oh! Two A. Strong break, break attack there. Whoa! Good grab. My goodness, that was a good 30, 40 percent of the health bar. All right, but here comes Zion. Oh! Oh! Ooh, that was. Oh! He probably should have gotten crouch grabbed off that one. <laughs> All right, Suna pressing advantage in the corner, and that is the game. Suna with game one. So do you think Nightmare would, would actually qualify as a counter pick to Killick? Um, obviously I don't have as much um, Killick and Nightmare um, knowledge, but Nightmare does have a lot of overwhelming tools, just overall damage. Right. Damage output. Oh. Blomp. <laughs> Might as well just hit him with a cartoon hammer you pulled out of your backpack. <laughs> out in hammer space. 
Oh no! Ah. Oh! But good, good guy Suna going after his buddy, making sure he's okay. <laughs> and then just climb up the ladder. Yeah. Huh. Attack the rope? If they actually put a ladder on the side of like every single stage with an edge in this game, I would like this 10 out of 10 game. Is this gonna turn into Smash where you're hanging off the edge and you have to jump in? Dude, you if know, they put if they put in like ledge hanging on this, like make it make it like a, a just frame kind of deal, could you imagine the kind of matches you'd be able to have? Oh my god. Of course that's that would be for ring outs that are closer to the edge. Sure, sure, sure. Oh. Alright, Zion with the uplift. Right. Oh, I think he was baiting the uh, stun there. Ah. Back throw. Into a lethal hit also. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Kilix seems to have a ton of lethal hits that are very easy to access. Nice GI. Oh, back again. Jeez. Two A into a back throw. Look at that damage. Neck slicer. That was at least 50% right there. Yep. Oh. Oh, Zion's back on it. A little bit of repositioning. Frames. Also, can we talk about how goofy Nightmare looks with no armor on his pants? Okay. Well, <laughs> at least he didn't lose his pants. <laughs> you get people like Mitsurugi who are just left in their food. Oh, seat. yeah, yeah. He's like, what? This is what I shower in. It's good enough to fight you. <laughs> oh, no follow up yeah. there. Yeah. Okay, Zion on his... Mm. Mm, whiff punish there. Yep. I would have gone for a horizontal there. Drill? Yeah, no evil killer transformation. Oh, there it is. There's the lethal. Full cinematic. Oh. oh dang, from a, from a running K. Oh. Ooh. Nope. No wow. fun. A lot of close calls on that one. Grim Strike. Oh. oh. Speaking of lethal hit. K. Lethal hit. 6 Drill. Yep. Yeah. Up and over. Another one. Ugh. So there's a lethal hit off of that one too. He's had enough. No more. Get off me. Stop getting me in the nads. I'm on my period. <laughs> oh. Whoa! How are we? <laughs> nice. So that'll definitely kill. This will be another close one. Yeah, Jesus. really. Will. So yeah, not only did they take uh, Haomaru from SNK, they also took Terry Bogard's power power wave. Oh my god. <laughs> Ooh, it's the year of SNK. No, not their own game. <laughs> I guess people like Sam Show though. Whoa. Ooh. Yeah. Again, that's that's another one that looks like it really should have hit. Ooh. Oh, rising K. Lethal hit? Oh. Ah, Zion tried for the lethal Jump hit K. again. Nice. Oh, wow. Fell right into that. Ooh. Zion not expecting the crumple. Into a just frame there as well. Another close one. All right, that's two for Suna, though. Let's see if uh, Zion can pull it together. Oh, soon opening up with the 6-6-B. Uh. <laughs> Ooh, nice side step there. Another good launch. Uh. Soon is back to the wall, there. essentially. <laughs> no! Ooh. Yeah, one, one crouch into just frame. Nightmare starting to lunge forward like that. It was just to do it. It was just a thing to do. Just a thing to make Suna think twice about coming in. Oh, the pancake! Or is it at the flapjack? What is same, it? Actually? Same, same thing. I know. The <laughs> waffle. The waffle. Considering <laughs> <laughs> how much damage it does on its own, we just call it the mini waffle. Or the, or the, the mini, mini waffle. The, oh the, my god. The mini waffle. <laughs> I'm pushing that hard next uh The little Eggo minis. Oh my god. Yeah, the Eggo mini. <laughs> I need a good breakfast after this. Ooh. Denny's right down the street. Oh. It's tempting. Oh, wait, you said good breakfast. <laughs> okay, reversal edge. Another good pop up. There we go. Oh. Now Zion's been refining his uh, 
Yeah, been refining his uh, soul attack. Ooh, uh, nice reads over the course of the entire evening. So he's, he's all his health. Nailing oh. those. <gasps> ah, oh. Yeah! This hand of mine is burning red. Purple. Boom. <laughs> All right, keeping it tied up. G Gundam, right? Yep. Oh my god, I remember watching that on Toonami Aftermath. Hell Summer. yeah, baby. Ooh, Oki right there. Do it again? Nope. Oh, Suna. You don't have it. Suna wants that, that ring out. It's that like protracted battles are not suiting Nightmare. That derpy jump K. Yeah, and Zion needs to really stay on the Camera offense change. right now. He cannot do blocking. Oh, nice! He's got the speed. Oh, oh, he's got. Oh, oh, that's wow! Blocked. I thought he blocked. Oh, that was the advantage he needed. He's back to yellow, and maybe that'll go. Uh, maybe the flashing will go away by next round. Yep, sure enough. No more guard gauge there. Yep. Oh. Whoa. Oh, okay. Yellow. That's fine. It's the, the the peak of yellow. I want to say yellow is fifty percent. That would make the most sense, but Namco. I'll have, to check, I'll have to check the mathematics on that. Oh, good duck. Oh, we oh. got... That's the second time I believe Suna is unblockable stomp somebody tonight. Oh, Oki right there. Get off the ground. Yeah, seriously, these OTGs are killing Zion. Oh, Ooh. nice sidestep. Uh, did he actually hit him after that dash? I, I don't know. Oh, drill. Got the 660. Uh -oh. Soul charge. It's just soul charge. Just a little bit of get off me. And a little more get off me. Oh, oh. Now we glowing. Oh, no. Oh, oh there. the Ego Minis. That was an excellent read there. <laughs> if he would have landed that two way, he could have just went into the critical edge. Another nice. lethal hit. Just frame. Once again, that needs to do more running. damage. That deserves more damage. I was a, That's actually tough the, to do. Yeah, for all the all the pop and circumstance they put on it, you certainly would figure it'd do more than about 10%. Mm. All right, lightning strike. Mm. So I'm just letting Suna change his sword around out here. Back throw. Bam. There we go. Burn up all that time. Uh -oh. Get your get your guard. Yeah, get your guard gauge back. Back yell. Whoa. Oh, oh. Long way. Nice. Good pickup. Can he finish from here? Huh! Huh! Ta ta ta! No! The man said, tut tut, looks like brain on the ground. I lost! But yeah, that was a that was a nice clean finish to that mm. game. Let's see if Zion can do it at least one more time. Or two more times. Right. Well, at least at least one more to keep it around. If he oh. can't do it one more time, then he's done. Oh, right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Poke. <laughs> Run up one, yeah, one B. Or uh, six B, yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. Six All bars and eight mix-ups? No nope. Bam. Oh. Too slow. Uh, uh. Oh. 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 Sidestep and just sidestep the other way. Blam. Are you? Yeah. Oh, that's, that's real. Oh my goodness. Shades of uh, Link from Soul Calibur 2. Ouch. All you really need to do is back your back yourself up to the corner and then just neutral throw them off. Whoa. Sign with another good pop-up. Gets the ground combo. Ooh. Yeah. Solid reversal edge there. First one. Bam! And Soul into the... Attack. Whoa, yeah. he just kept going there. Hmm. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Alright. Yo. Oh, good awareness by that. Suna. Hits him back with the Ego Minis. The Waffles. Uh. Oh. He's not done yet. No, no, no. Oh! Oh, oh no. Ooh. Oh, man. Tech crouches. Yeah, Zion really the needed something. Tech crouches. He needed something more than the, than the one shot normals. Oh, just frame. Another just frame. A little dirt. All right, good start. 
Ah, oh, oh, that was oh, a grab. Yeah. Excellent. Right. Trade. Oh, solid sidestep. And a just frame. Oh, he got his back. We could be seeing a... Oh, I was about to say, like, if he floated for a while, we could have seen a ring out. Nice hit. Oh, solid GI. As soon as keeping it alive. Oh, break attack on the GI and... Oh. Zap! Into the ground. And just like that, Suna with the 3-1 victory over Zion. Mm -hmm. That was intense. The waffles. <laughs> waffles, waffles. Oh, Take all my money out of overseas investments and put it into waffles. Tasty waffles. <laughs> I didn't even know you were over here. I was playing KOL. Do you want to talk about Soul Calibur? What? Sure. what? Why not? Huh? Yeah. Sure. We, we were already talking about that. Why not? So I'm being joined by Suna, who doesn't play this game anymore. Oh, really? Do, do you not? I'm don't, Suna? Don't you not? You oh, just sick. call me Suna? Fuck. You're not Suna. You're just a reasonable... I'm the real Suna now. You're just the, the eastern facsimile of Suna. <laughs> Suna's a cool name. I missed all the fun. Well, what's been you happening? I did miss all the fun. Uh, I, 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 went, I went two and two. Really? Yeah. Really? I, even took a, I even took a round off of Ragnarok over there. Are you still using uh, Solfecia? I am. She's actually really good this season. I feel like um, I'm missing all the fun in season two right now. You probably are. Because uh, I watch it. I just don't play it. I watch Next Level Battle Circuits. So, some really cool... What's that guy's name? Linkors? KOF Puke. <laughs> Don't be mean about the KOF. 13 is actually really good. That game's like, fun. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think all KOFs are fun. Oh my gosh, 2B. Let's see what uh, Ragnarok's new tech can help me with in my comeback. Nothing. Really? Yeah, I, I couldn't do her uh, combos back then. I probably won't be able to do them now. So what do we got, Nightmare? Yeah, we got Nightmare. Oh my gosh, the Siegfried. It's Nightmare. <laughs> Uh, tomato, tomato. It really, it's really not. Yeah, I know. In this game, it's not. By the way, who do you know that says tomato? I just did. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. All right, there's that laser pressure from a distance. Open. Wow, the hit confirms. Suna's probably going to have a hard time in this matchup with Nightmare. Oh, the Ego Minis. Oh, wow, nice break. <laughs> So, so that's the that's the new meme around here. Mm -hmm. So you, you know how that that little uh, that foot flip is normally called like the flapjack. Mm -hmm. Well, we went from pancake to to waffles to me. <laughs> Since it's such a low damage throw, I now like we the mini waffles. Evolving with the game. And now it's the ego minis. <laughs> oh my god! This is some this is some uh, some Lori style uh, uh, anglicisms going on here. <laughs> Oh. Lots of people flip waffles, Jad. Especially when you put them in that maker. You gotta flip it over. Everyone flips waffles. No. Just don't know it. Oh, Suna's coming back. Yeah. Surely but slowly. It looks like he's about to get the guard break, though. Yeah, he's, he's looking at... I, that's the thing about 2B. She doesn't, uh, she doesn't do a whole lot of guard damage on like individual hits. I would like to beg to differ to that comment. No, no, no. <laughs> her, her individual hits don't do that much, but once she gets her combos going, that's where things happen, and... If she, yeah. Oh, nice. She still has that combo. Oh, I'm, I'm sure she still has lots of stuff. I would assume that they would have nerfed her heavily, but it doesn't look bad. I, I could do that combo, as whack as I was. <laughs> but uh, Ragnarok, whoa, Ragnarok with that round two win. Mm -hmm. Coming out with the pod. I like all the waffle hate that Jad's getting in the chat. <laughs> Oh! Oh, it was too far for the pickup. Yep. I miss playing this game. I think I'll come it's back. It's fun, dude. Like, <gasps> That's like, a new move. I Whoa. Feel like everyone's really good. Yep, the Fisher. It's weird. I just oh, get off me. Ugh. So yeah, lots of cool stuff in season two. Uh, everyone now has like soul attack, extra moves. Soul Jesus. attack. Jesus. Tell me about more. Uh, about more. So yeah, quarter circle and the uh, the oh, soul charge that? button. Uh, gets you the soul attack, which, which drops you right into your uh, into your soul charge mode, and usually uh, puts out some kind of super good attack. Hey, oh, like a raise drive, essentially. Uh, yeah, a little bit. 
That sounds or, cool. Or like a uh, V trigger. It's like a way of using to get into a uh, soul charge, Ouch. right? Yep. So it's not like a cancel move. You can't. Mm -hmm. uh, it's and still something you gotta. You gotta kind of. Oh, that get that gives more uh, options to play. Yo. The game. Oh, he's so dead. <laughs> Breaks the guard for the last hit. That was cool. Ragnarok, your uh, winner's side uh, champion right now, coming up with that big win. Beautiful, beautiful 2B I'm, action. I don't know why, after you told me about the mechanics of the soul attack, I really want to play it now and try it out. Dude, like, Sophia can just freaking summon lightning. Just straight up, like, that's super anywhere, cool. like, and it tracks, too. Like, just, just anywhere within, like, a certain radius just comes right down on the audience. It's because I don't have to soul charge to, uh, in neutral just to get out of um, a tough situation. Yeah. I could so, just... I mean, that, that stuff is still there. There's also, um, there's also Revenge Impact, I believe, or Resist Impact, that's what it is. Resist Impact? Yeah, that one's... Uh, Tell that, me more. I, I wish I could. I'm actually a little shy on the Resist Impact mechanic. Oh, really? This if is anybody also... in the chat... Oh, yeah, Hildy! This is a character I wanted to try. So, Hildy's got the uh, the negative edge uh, buttons. Whoa. What does that mean? So, uh, do, you know, do you know Tap in Street Fighter? No. All right, so Balrog, the boxer... Yeah. has a uh, thing where if you hold a button, like one of the punch buttons, uh, the longer you hold it, the more damage it does when it when you finally release. Whoa. Like, it just, you release the button and he goes and does it. So, so that's what she's rocking. Essentially, she's a charge character. I love that new move for 2B. That's oh, not what? new. That's been there. That really? That's season no one. way. I've been here since season one. See, there's no way she had that. Oh, he should be dead. Yeah, ooh. Unless they nerfed her, you know, and then he's not dead. Uh, I, I, she's got some minor nerfs, I believe, but oh, that was a perfect. This might have been a, oh, <laughs> I do that too. Might have been a bad, uh, bad swap. Mm. All right, slice and dice. Oh, nice GI. Oh, wow, keeps the pressure going. Yep. Ah, uh, not that time. Mm -hmm. There we go. So yeah, the only downside is that there is only one horizontal and one vertical button in this game. So if you commit to holding down one of the buttons, uh, you've essentially erased using that particular like a type of attack from your repertoire. Oh, we should play sometime. Yeah, it seems like you can teach me a lot more. Of it. Uh, this most of the stuff I'm using it. Uh, that I'm learning today. The pros uh, in season one didn't seem to teach me. That's a new move too? Oh snap! <laughs> what was? When she tossed her sword and it just kept going? I don't think so. Really? Yeah. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Oh, oh let's see if you can get the combo. Oh, let's see if you can kill with this though. It might be shy of a kill. Yeah. This is going to be very scaled right here. It is. That's true. Yeah, look at that. It's doing nothing. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't do nothing. Holy <laughs> Okay, so the, here we go. There's soul was attack. That, that yeah. was a soul attack? That was a soul attack. Nice. And it's got some pretty awesome properties. Loving the particles. Oh, man. Suna was very well poised. You just couldn't maintain it. Man, I couldn't have picked better players to get into uh, oh, liking Rag it. Oh, Ragnarok's one of the best. Now I'm watching. I'm like, whoa. And this Suna's looks... no slouch either. Oh, nice back attack. Yo, look at this damage. That's one of my favorite weapons. The spear? The spear, and she has a little, like, mini sword on her hand. Yeah. Short sword. Short sword. <gasps> not, oh, hits him with the mix-up. Yeah. In the rear? In the I'm rear? with her. <laughs> oh, my goodness. What is Yikes. happening? What? That was a break attack. That was just a break attack. That was Although sick. I imagine it was probably charged up by the, uh, the button holding. Nice. All I right. see that 2B still has that move. Oh, yeah. Uh, Suna... Uh, oh, both of them now on 2B. Now last Look at this advantage. Wow. Yep, it's clock stops as long as you're in soul charge, I believe, so. Oh, that's a good sidestep, but no punish! What is going on out there? Wow. All the conversions, making use of all floaties. Uh, uh, oh my gosh. Pokes, pokes. <laughs> That's one hell of an axe kick. Oh, he hit a button during the launch. Doesn't seem like Suna can get in with this onslaught of a... It's, it's very <laughs> rough. But you'll notice... Oh, got the grab! Oh! He got a, really? <laughs> CE off of the grab? Okay. You didn't okay. tell me about this, Tech. I didn't know. <laughs> okay. I know there are guaranteed, like, like CEs awesome. after grabs. Shang Hua is famous for having one. Oh, yeah. Shang Hua does have one. 
it's looking uh, to be an uphill battle for our fair hero right now. <laughs> Yep. Our hometown hero. Our hometown hero. Yeah. They're, they're both kind of fair, if you catch me. Right. <laughs> Not fair characters, though. No. <laughs> well, actually, I would say Hildy's probably pretty honest. Yeah, I mean, I feel like all, a lot of uh, her moves that I just yeah. saw, you, she you, just needed openings. You missed Ragnarok's talent earlier. It was, it was pretty Oh, she's good. unfair. She's, she's dude, unbelievably her unfair. Her soul attack is just, she makes a tornado, <laughs> and it, like, harasses you for, like, five hits. I remember uh, when I still played this game, I played some guy, what's it? was like, his name was, like, Daddy's Got Game. Grandma's Got Grandma's Game. Grandma's Got Game. Amazing the, talent. He's the gentleman who won Raj this year. But he's also using a cheat character. She's no. so much. She's busted. really good, fundamentally. She can attack and attack and attack. She's very evasive. Um... She like her her really only downfall is that she doesn't do a whole lot of gra of uh, guard damage. I see, but she can just keep going enough to make up for it, and just be tricky and crap. I guess her mix-up game's not terribly great either. But when when people keep pressing buttons on your safe stuff, then what's it really matter? Mm -hmm. So look at these GIs. Good stuff. Going Suna back to coming the out with the big damage. Unleashing all hell on our. Oh, oh. Uh. No time for games. Here we go. Oh, let's see if we can survive this. No games, just sports. Drops the combo. Nice defense. Oh, hey, go my knees. Damn it. I wanted to use it first, Matt. It's Do it my, again! It's my joke. I'll kill you. Oh, look at that chip. Yo. I'm assuming these oh, are... Oh, soul attack. Both of those were soul attack. Uh, wow. That was awesome. Honestly, not sure. Anything that 2B... Do, I mean, yeah, probably. She's got her soul charge going there, but yeah. But yeah, Suna oh, just letting that one slip through his fingers. Wow. Oh, getting was... around the... Just coming in just a little after the guard impact. Nice reversal Whoa. edge. Doesn't get the... get the final tag to start the, the mix-up. Start the John Ken. Nice uh -huh. break. Ragnarok just on point right now. <gasps> oh! <laughs> Style! <laughs> it's and like he's actually playing near Automata. Holy moly. I still need to play that game. It, it's amazing. It's the best game Whoa, I've ever played. Oh, we just soul charging it right to the get, ground. Get down. <laughs> Oh, looks like he's trying to get the guard break for a big yep. combo. Oh, no damage off that grab. Uh, uh, oh! Wall hit, break attack, break attack. <laughs> break attacks into break attacks, I like it. Yo, she just did spinning bird kick, I protest. <laughs> oh, no more, no waffles. Box is empty. Contact Kellogg's. <laughs> oh, oh, gets the guard break, let's see what he can do. Oh, oh and he has the, uh, the charge for 2B. Faced Let's him right out of existence. Nice. Yikes. Into the. Oh, oh get doesn't off get me. the um, uh. explosive thing. I yeah. forgot what that's called. Okay, we can hit low. Oh! Uh oh, let's see. The break. Let's see if oh, he's going to use buff. a soul attack anytime. Nice, good catch, low. Uh oh. Oh no, here comes this the could, mix. This is it. He uses self destruct. Yeah. This is for sure it. This is a really sad move, by the way. Nobody gets the context. <laughs> this must be MK. <laughs> <laughs> Tough battle, but <laughs> let it play. <laughs> oh man! Good job, Desuna. Good no. job, Desuna. He fought valiantly, but uh, Ragnarok is our winner tonight. Yeah. Well done, well done. I am scared that Justin forever. What? Soon I have somewhere to be? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Six whole dollars? Yay! That's, that's a, a massive payout. Six whole dollars going like, to Ragnarok. Like three midnight cookies right there. Yeah, I'd go shake down a Girl Scout. And... <laughs> no, 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 no. Insomnia cookies. Oh, yeah, Insomniac cookies. Yeah, yeah. Insomnia. Actually, Ragnarok might not know about Insomniac cookies. Do we've you know about there. Insomniac cookies? Yeah, we've oh, been there. Okay. Yo, Eggermeisters, thanks for the follow. Now that I've watched you play season two, you have to take oh, it. Uh, With the inputs, too. Not even season one, nobody taught me anything. 
I had to learn myself. It's true. Sometimes you just have to learn yourself. But, uh, yeah. Well, I mean, hey, we all had a pretty good night at this. Uh, I actually did not finish last, so I'm going to take that as a... As a right. I count, like, I count this as a qualified win. <laughs> Every step is a process. Exactly. I mean, uh, for, especially good for... I don't play on pad anymore, and I have not played the game in about, like, hey, four, hey, three Hey, 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 don't say not playing on pad like it's a bad thing. Uh, it is a bad it's thing. It's not a bad thing. Uh, oh, there you go. Oh, no. Revan says hands. you can play at uh, G on uh, Game Arena on Friday. Oh, I'll just smoke them like I usually do. I'll, there you go. <laughs> you don't know, but I played this game. Own them in Tekken and Soul Calibur. But uh, but um but um bum. That's it, I guess. Oh, uh, real quick, let's bump some stuff. So, oops, I never loaded. Ooh, we're in. plugging in. We're, we're plugging stuff. Let me let me change this though. This is the one thing I didn't do. Let's do it. Uh, oh man, um So coming, guys. Uh, coming up Shoryu Sunday. February 9th, sure you can Sunday. Uh, we're actually trying to make this a uh, a big event because uh, the third strike one is actually gonna be part of this uh, this nationwide thing going on. Um and uh, that won't be on the GA channel, that'll be on Magic Melee, so tune into me, not them. <laughs> and, uh, it's true. Do, do, turn, tune in to match day. Yep, but uh, we'll have uh, Street Fighter 2, 3, oh Ultra, and 5. All the classics. All the good ones, uh, <laughs> except for Alpha. <laughs> and uh, after that, I gotta set this one up too. Is there another Get the there, Smoke? There's, it's not, there's not another Get the Smoke. This oh, one's. Oh, oh. Sorry. Uh, picture. I, I can't believe it's coming, guys. Don't part. worry. Don't, don't click away. Don't you gotta give, know. Give it a second. There it is. Tech and Caliber Crusade, Our February 29th. Annual. annual. Is it the annual? I don't know. Yearly. Yearly. A bi monthly. Our bi month jazzy circuit. That's the one. But yeah, uh, Tech and Caliber Crusade. Uh, come on down February 29th to Close Quarters Social Gaming Club at 480 West Town Street. All day tournament featuring Tekken 7, Soul Calibur 6, Soul Calibur 2, and Tekken Tag, apparently Ooh. now. Uh, <laughs> Love yeah, that game. The nostalgia um, factor. But that will be a Saturday oh event, I believe. It's gonna be a banger. Um, but yeah, close quarters, super sick. I just upgraded their uh, graphics card in the rig, so the stream's gonna look super duper good. But if you can actually make it out, come on down and play. Uh, Fuyu will be there. I will be there. It's always uh, fun to come to Tekken yeah. Caliber. Oh, you know, Tekken Caliber is always a hoot, man. The but most. Um, the highlight -y things happen if you catch what I'm saying. OD of ODist, uh, Namco, Bamco. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We break the game that day. Turn But, uh, now that we've announced those, uh, that is gonna be it for us. Thank you so much, everybody, for, uh, coming through. Uh, you guys have been awesome. By the way, this just, like, the past two weeks have been really awesome. We came back from Frosties with, um, an almost 400 additional followers. Um, and like a, a, almost 12 extra subscribers. It, it's all been fantastic. You guys have been super good. Let me just say that. That's a lot. And uh, keep your eyes out because we're going to do some really excellent stuff coming up in the future uh, at both big and small events all over the Midwest and maybe other places. And Matchstick is going to host each and every I'll, one of I'll, those. I'll do my best. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, that's it for us tonight. Thank you everybody for coming and watching. I, I can't. What? I don't know how to use Keelix Soul Charts. <laughs> At this point, I'm too afraid to ask. I, that's good, yeah. Anyway, peace, everybody. Thanks for watching. <laughs>